हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी डू सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ़ यू हैवन डन इट येट इट विल हेल्प मी अलॉट टू रीच मेनी मोर स्टूडेंट्स लाइक यू पीपल नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम विच सेज दैट डिटर्मिन द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ द कपल फोर्स इज एफ सो दैट द रिजल्टेंट कपल मोमेंट ऑन द क्रेंक इज ज़ीरो सो दिस इज़ अ क्रेंक विच इज this arm of the crank is making 45 degrees and this crank uh, arm of the crank is making 45 degrees on both sides and it is subjected to uh, what this pair of forces is 150 pound and this uh, they are parallel to each other so we have to find the magnitude of these uh, forces right so let's say that uh, let's have a larger view of this right and i have drawn some reference line lines right so for to in order to have the uh resultant couple we need to add up all the couples right so the couple produced by this f uh, forces and this 150 pound forces but since the perpendicular distance between uh, both of these forces is not directly known so for that we have to resolve these um forces into its components and we have to resolve these forces along along this crank arm and perpendicular to this crank arm and similarly on the other side as well so now let's resolve this 150 pound force it is making 30 degrees with the horizontal and this crank arm is making 45 degrees so this angle is 45 this is 45 degrees so if this is 45 and this is 30 then this angle is 45 minus 30 so this tells us that uh this 150 pound force is making 15 degrees uh with the crank right so with the crank it is making 15 degrees so now we can resolve this uh, 150 pound force into its components so it will have one component along the crank like this let me draw it in some other color let's see this one will be the cos component right so we can write that this is 150 cos of 15 and similarly uh this 150 pound will have one component perpendicular to the crank and this one will be the sine component this is 150 sine of 15 degrees similarly if we uh look into this force f so it is making 30 degrees with the vertical and again if we um if i extend this vertical line so it is perpendicular with this horizontal line it is perpendicular with this and similarly um this particular line this is perpendicular with this so this line is perpendicular with this and this line is perpendicular with this so the, this angle is 45 then the angle between this and this is also 45 so this angle is also 45 right so let's say that this angle is 45 now as we can see that this angle is 90 this angle is 90 so if this is 45 this is 30 so 90 minus 45 is 45 and 45 minus 30 is 15 so again this f is making 15 degrees with this crank arm so we can say that this angle we can say that this force f is making 15 degrees with this crank arm as well so now we can resolve this force f as well so it will have one component along this crank arm and this one will be the cos component so we can write that this is f cos of 15 right and it will have one component which will be acting perpendicular to the crank arm this one so we will have one component like this one component like this and one component like this so this one is the sine component this one is uh, f sine of 15 degrees similarly we can resolve uh, this force f into its components again so as we can see that again this force is parallel to this force this force is parallel to this force and it is it is again making 30 degrees with the vertical so now again if we look into this line this 
this horizontal line and this line they are making 45 degrees now this vertical line is perpendicular with this line and this line is perpendicular with this line so now the angle between these two is 45 then the angle between these two is 45 as well so now this angle is also 45 this angle is also 45 degrees so now if if this is 45 and this is 30 then 45 minus 30 this is 15 so this force f is making 15 degrees with a line which is perpendicular with this crank arm now again we can resolve this force f so it will have one component like this perpendicular to the crank arm and this one will be the cost component this is f cos of 15 and similarly it will have one another component which is going to act in this direction so this one is f sine of 15 this orange one this is the sine component similarly um, this this 150 pound force is making 30 degrees with the horizontal and again as we can see that uh, this this line is passing through the crank arm and this crank arm is making 45 degrees here so this angle is 45 let me write that this angle is this angle is 45 degrees and now this line and this line they are perpendicular to each other so this total angle is this total angle is 90 degrees so 90 minus 45 is 45 45 minus 30 is 15 so this is this is 15 degree angle so this angle is 15 so this uh, 150 pound force is making 15 degree with this line which is perpendicular with the crank arm so now we can resolve um, this 150 pound force into its components so again we will have one component this one will be the cost component this one will be 150 cos of 15 and it will have one component along the crank arm so this one will be 150 sin of 15 so now we have resolved all the forces along the crank arm and perpendicular to the crank arm so in other words we have resolved all the forces uh, in normal and tangential components so now the resultant couple this is equal to now we have to find uh, since we have four forces and we have eight components so eight components will give us four pairs so in other words we have four couples which are acting on the crank right so we will consider uh, each component one by one so if we look into the cost component of this 150 so this cost component of 150 and this cost component of 150 they are producing a couple like this that is the counterclockwise couple they are producing the counterclockwise couple and the perpendicular distance between the the cost this cost component and this cost component is 5 plus 5 inch so that is 10 inches so now we can write that they are producing a counterclockwise couple so that is plus we are assuming that the counterclockwise moment is positive so that is 150 cos of 15 and the perpendicular distance between them is 10 inches and now the sign component this sign component this sign component and this sign component they are producing the clockwise couple like this they are producing the clockwise couple so the clockwise couple is negative so 150 sign of 15 and the perpendicular distance between this sign component and this sign component is 8 inches so we will multiply this with 8 now if we look into the uh, the components of this force f so this force f has this cost component which is acting in this direction so this cost component and this cost component they are producing the couple in this direction like this 
so this is again the clockwise couple like this so we will write minus and f cos of 15 and the perpendicular distance between these two cos components is 5 inches so we will multiply it with 5 similarly the sine component this sine component and this sine component they are producing the clockwise couple they are producing the clockwise couple like this so again we will write minus minus f sine of 15 and the perpendicular distance between uh, this sine component and this sine component is this 4 inches this is the perpendicular distance so we will multiply it with 4 so this will give us the resultant couple of these uh, two pair of forces and in the problem statement it said that uh, determine the magnitude of the force f so that the resultant couple moment on the crank is zero so this resultant is zero so now we can equate this whole equation to zero so this is equal to we can say that this is equal to zero so now this is 150 150 cos of 15 into 10 let me write it like this this is uh, 150 into 10 is 1500 cos of 15 minus 150 sine of 15 into 8 so this is 1138.305 and from from these two terms we can take f as common so we can write this is uh, plus minus 5 cos of 15 and minus 4 sine of 15 f this is equal to 0 so minus 5 cos of 15 minus 4 sine of 15 this gives us 1138.305 minus 5.865 f this is equal to 0 and if we bring this constant to the other side of equation so this is minus 5.865 f this is equal to minus 1138.305 minus will cancel out and f is equal to 1138.305 divided by 5.865 this gives me f equals to 194 pounds so this is the magnitude of that force f which was required if the resultant on this crank is equals to zero so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope this will help you in your learning do subscribe engineers academy for the solution of such more problems from hebler statics